Lads, what's going on, Gonfia? And this is going to be the fifth time I'm trying to do this commentary. So hopefully I can finally get it right this time. But uh, yeah, lads, today I'm going to be bringing you a gold slash silver mix hybrid. It's got some informs in it. It's got some silvers, OP players. It's got a five, I think it's got one or two five star skillers. And it's just a sick team. Because in my opinion, lads, I think if you're looking to make one of the most sweatiest, overpowered, but also quality teams on my team, it does have to include silvers and golds. Uh, let me know if you actually agree with that. But remember, lads, this is going to be uh, brought to you by Cheap FUT Coins as usual. Their link will be in the description. But one last thing before we jump into it. I'm thinking about moving, well, also, as well as doing these sort of teams, doing like funny squads as well, like, like teams... Full of left footers, the most racist team on Ultimate Team, team, uh, team of blacks, just the most blackest team on FIFA, you know, those sort of funny teams. So if you're interested, let me know in the description, uh, in the comments, sorry. I really, really want to know if you like, want to see those because I'll, I'll, I'll actually start doing those as well. But uh, we'll move on to the team and we'll jump into the team anyway, lads. And in goal, we have got to kick us off Marchetti. And this is how you know we're not fucking about Marchetti. Oh my days, is one of the most ridiculous keepers on FIFA 13 for an 83 rated card. He performs like a 94 rated card. 86 dive and 88 reflexes. And when you're playing against him, you just want to smash your pad up because you can't score. He's amazing at the front posts. He's just amazing at everything. He flies from one side of his goal to the other. And for 2,700 coins, I'm pretty sure everyone would pay triple that for him because he's just so, so good. We've then got, we're then going to be using Ogbonna. And then we're going to be using someone who I'm not sure a lot of people know about. His name's actually Juan Golholm Nunez. Jesus, bit of a long name. Looks like a bit of a ghost in his picture, but uh, on the pitch, he performs out of his socks. Trust me, 73 pace, 75 defending, 78 heading. Funny enough, he's not a rare card somehow. I, I'm not really sure how he's not a rare card with those stats, but he is amazing. He's got good good uh, work rates in-game, so you know he actually sits in defenses and push forward while you actually want from a centre-back. Uh, he's really, really good in the air, and he's strong, so he's just a perfect centre-back, really. But uh, I did pay 5k for him, and he was definitely worth that. Then we got Ogbonna. Doesn't really need much. I don't really need need to introduce this guy. Everyone knows him. He's so sweaty, scrubby, overpowered. Not a rare card somehow, even though he's got some of the best defensive stats on the game. He's got high defensive work rate as well. He is just the perfect centre-back. And for 1.7k, I'm not even going to say any more. <laughs> We've got David Santon left-back, who is... Well, he was actually pretty decent, lads. Pretty decent. A lot of you are probably thinking I could have used someone else. But I went with Santon, and he, he was decent. I picked him up for 850 coins. I mean, come on, lads. Any of you can go out and get him for that price. And if you're looking for a cheap left back who will do the job, he's okay going forward. He's not the best. He's not the worst. And pick him up. He was decent for me. You can't really say any, any bad things about him. We then got Mikon on the other side, who is just ridiculously good. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about Mikon. Going forward, when you see this big black head running at you, I'm pretty sure everyone shits themselves. Because he's so powerful, so strong. And he's like one of those cunts, you know, in real life who's good at everything. He's good, he's good at, good at, he's got pace, he's good at dribbling, he's good at heading, he's good at passing, he's even got an amazing long shot, and he's even good at defending. Is this something this guy can't do? <laughs> it is pretty bullshit, and I didn't used to like him because he was too attacking, but when you get to terms with, like, when you've got a good, two good centre backs who sit back, Michael has the freedom to push forward, and he is just amazing. And that is where he's at his best potential going forward. But uh, onto the midfielders now, we have got Wesley. Then in midfield, we have got Inform Paulinho. And then on the end, we have got Verratti. We'll start off with Verratti. Bit of an ugly run. He looks like a little bit of a lesbian or something. I don't know what he looks like in his picture. But um, on the pitch, he performs out of his socks. 70 pace, 77 dribbling, and a 76 pass. On a centre mid. One of the best silver, like, solid centre mids I've used. He's just good at everything. He's good at plucking passes. He's got a decent shot on him. Uh, he's forced that skills, remember, as well. And he was just really, really good. He's definitely worth... I paid 27k for him. And for what you actually get, how he performs in-game, he's definitely worth that. Uh, we've then got... Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot his name there. Paulinho. Inform Paulinho. Everyone knows about Paulinho. He is just an absolute warrior. Well, I say everyone. Most people know about him. I know I could have used Ronaldinho. I know I could have used someone else. But I went with Paulinho because I wanted to try him. I saw his stats. His stats look really solid. Balanced all around. Uh, 78 defending for a centre mid is really, really good. With the 81 pace, he can go forward with his dribbling as well. Only bad thing to knock about him is he is a Brazilian with only three star skills. But... I mean, in centre mid, you don't really need five-star skills. He does his thing, he defends, and he does everything else perfect. So, 
what what a player really. Unfortunately, he is seventy seven k. So if if you've got the coins, go out and get him. But if not, you have to go for someone cheaper. We've then got Wesley Lopez, a bell train. Uh, uh, well, is if only he was as good as his name. To be fair, Wesley Lopez is a sick name, but he is just on the pitch. He was just dreadful for me. Didn't see him. I don't think he's a natural CM. Uh, I think he would be a lot better in centre attacking mid. I just he just didn't get involved for me to be honest, lads. Picked up for two thousand eight hundred coins. Can't really say much about him, unfortunately. Then onto the forwards, we have got Mike on Liete or Mike on Liete, whatever you want to call him. Uh, then we got Alessandrini. And uh, to start us off with Li Liete, I'm pretty sure everyone knows Liete by now. Since FIFA 11, this guy has been ripping people new assholes. 75 dribbling, 90 pace, 5 star skills. One of the most... F he's got the most flair on a, on a silver card I've ever seen. He's, he's just so skillful, so agile, so fun to play with. And if you like haven't tried him or used him and have got the coins... Go and get him now. It's a tough decision who to use out of him, Danilo and Calvin. But Mike only at eight. Oh, he's just so, so good, lads. And an answer, Alessandrini. Unfortunately, can't really say the same about this guy. For his stats and for what you'd think he'd be with a four-star skills, four-star weak foot, he just didn't live up to it. Didn't live up to that price tag one bit. I've been told he is actually the silver, silver ribbery. No, no way. Um, his long shot was dreadful. In game, he didn't play that well. He was really, really weak. I couldn't get any, couldn't finish with him at all. His dribbling was good, to be fair. And, you know, he had some nice pace on him, but I don't think, I don't think you should go out and waste 233k lads on him, to be fair. So that's my review on him, unfortunately. But onto the striker now, we have got Lacazette, who uh, actually, uh, did he score against? I'm not sure if he scored against Spurs, but he, he plays for Leon. He, Plays for Leon. What am I heard about? Of course, he plays for Leon. Uh, a great player. This is what I mean. I nearly messed his commentary up again. Uh, 86 pace, 79 dribbling, 68 shot, but his shot was actually decent. Um, gets himself into nice positions. He's pretty strong as well. And from what I what I saw from him, he was he was a decent. I don't know if he was worth the 30k I paid, but he was decent, lads. And he had four star skills as well, just to uh, just to make matters better as well. But uh, yeah, lads, that is the team. Silver slash gold. I lost, I think I lost one or two games out of about seven that I played in the end. Played a few offline games as well. But yeah, lads, if we can get us to 400 likes, I will be chuffed. Remember to leave a comment if you want to see those uh, teams as well, like I said at the beginning. And uh, I'll speak to you next time. Peace.